medicine regularly. Come every year. This first time I've been here. Oh, Ohio mushroom. We're in the laundry room, the basement, in the bedroom, and in the closet. It depends on uh, where I can get room to grow. <laughs> We have difficult soils, and so if we're turning the tree waste into soils and, and, and then something to eat as well, uh, I mean, that's like a solution. I can insert a needle, draw out my liquid culture, and inoculate my grain, rather than dicing up a petri dish and inoculating it that way. What we've done is we've used the ancient sacred texts and legends and myths to kind of reverse engineer the technology of using the bamboo. That's a fine motorbike. See how this works? I'll get it out of it. The social aspect to me is probably 90% of it. The idea of mushroom propagation, uh, especially in uh, countries where there's an uh, existing protein shortage or where the economics of meat are even more dire. I got rambling, I got rambling on my mind. Little boy, little boy, I got rambling on my mind. I hate to leave you, baby, but you treat me so unkind. So, let's see. Yeah, I want to get up there and get cut. take materials that would originally go to a landfill and transform them into these mushrooms, you know, these delicious, healthy oyster mushrooms. They're good for us. Uh, all the way up. So turkey tail is specifically good for cancer. What happens is we invite in, because our bodies are symbiotic. We have a bunch of different bacteria and fungi and parasites and things that we actually utilize and so what our body will do is it will basically invite a fungus to come up inside of it to eat those carcinogenic chemicals. And then when it's done, the fungus gets it in its head that you're dying and now it wants to finish the process off and kill you and turn you into compost. And so it starts doing things to mess with your genes, turn certain enzymes on, turn certain enzymes off. I want to tell all the mushrooms and all the fungus in my body, you don't want to live inside of my body. Right. You want to just turn back into yeast and leave. A year ago tomorrow we started building our farm. Uh, this awakening is happening with, all over the world. And these farms again, like ours are they're springing up. They're creating a, an avenue for people to actually bring it into their home and start growing your own medicine in your own environment. Oh.